Hey, that five slow starter, I want you to pause the video, do the starter, and then I'm just about to go over it, okay? Right, question one, name the salt and other products when you've got ethanoic acid and sodium hydroxide, okay? So, we need to name the salt, so we take the first part of the base, which is sodium, and we change the acid. Now this is a carboxylic acid, so remember what we said about carboxylic acids, they go to O8. So this is ethanoic, so this goes to sodium ethan O8. Okay, and the other product here, we've got uh, an acid, uh, metal oxide, so that's going to be water. Here we get our salt plus water. Right, um, 1B, butanoic acid and calcium carbonate. Okay, so we need to name the salt first, so it comes from the first part of the base, which is calcium, and it's butanoic acid, so that's converted into butanoate. Okay, we are going to get water, but we're going to get a third product. Remember, look at this, it's a carbonate. Yeah, and remember when we do neutralisation reactions and we've got carbonate, we also get carbon dioxide. Okay, very important, very important. Right, give the overall equation for acid plus metal oxides. Okay, now this is uh, one of the equations you just need to know. So it is 2H plus plus O2 minus, and that goes to H2O. That's for a metal oxide, yeah? Metal carbonate's a wee bit different. That's H plus, plus CO3, two minus, and that goes to CO2 and H2O. Okay, so very important that you know those two. There is a third one. It's an acid plus a metal hydroxide, and that's just H plus plus OH minus, goes to H2O, okay? Uh, question 3A, name the gas release where magnesium carbonate neutralizes hydrochloric acid. So we're gonna get a salt, we would get magnesium chloride, yeah? We would get water, but both of them aren't gases, but the gas, because it's a carbonate, the gas is gonna be carbon dioxide, yeah? And how could we test for that gas? Nice and simple, you should know that from second year. It turns lime water cloudy. Okay, that's it. Right. What we're going to do now, we're going to uh, do mole calculations. So we're going to do a wee recap on the mole calculations that we've done. And then I'm going to introduce a new equation to calculate moles, okay? It's all to do with solutions. Right, so first of all, let's recap. Now you've done this, where you've done your uh, calculations from balanced equations, but we'll make a wee note on it. So we can calculate the moles of a compound if that's a big if, if we know the mass, okay? And hopefully you remember it, it's N equals M over GFM, okay? So, we example, calculate the number of moles of 32 grams of methane, okay? And then you should also know that methane is CH4, okay? So like what we would normally do, we'd get a wee, we can get a wee sidebar, okay? We don't know the moles, we know the mass is 32, and the GFM, yeah, remember to, how to work out GFM, we use our data books, so hydrogen, if we find hydrogen, which is here, it's got a GFM of 1, but we've got 4 of them, so that's 4. And then carbon, 
It's got a GFM of 12. There's only one of them, so that's 12. Add four, that's 16, so the GFM is 16. So if we plug that into our equation, M over GFM, mass, 32, divide by 16, that would just go to two moles. Okay, nice and easy. Now, what we can also do, and this is very important when we're doing calculations from balanced equations, is we can also rearrange to find mass. So let's say we've been given the, the number of moles. We can rearrange that equation to get mass, okay? And again, this is an equation you just need to know. It's M equals N times GFM. Now I've already went through in class how to rearrange it, okay? You can either do it change side, change sign, or you use the triangle. I'm not going through it here. So M equals N times GFM. So another way example, calculate mass of three moles of sodium hydroxide, NaOH. Okay, so number of moles, mass, and GFM. So we know the number of moles from the question is three. Yeah, the mass we don't know because that's what the question is asking us. And then the GFM, we can work out hydrogen is one. Yeah, we know that. Oxygen, if we use our data book, uh, if we find that, oxygen is 16. And sodium, if we find that, is 23. Okay, so if we add all that up together, we're going to get 40. So if we plug that in, M equals N times GFM. That is 3 times 40. That's 120 grams. Okay? However, yeah, big however, we can't always use N equals MGFM because we don't always have a mass. Okay? However, sometimes we need to calculate the number of moles of a solution therefore can't use n equals m over gfm okay because we're not going to be able to work out the mass of the solution so we need to use another equation okay so instead and this is where it gets a wee bit tricky because you will need to sometimes use that equation and then sometimes use this one. Okay, and you need to get into the habit of going in between, but don't worry, we'll have plenty of practice. So instead, we use N equals C times V. Okay, now again, that equation is found in the data booklet. Yeah, in data book. Now, by the end of this topic, you should be total experts at this. But if you ever forget the equation, that's in the data book. Yeah, so is that one. Right. Um, so we need to also talk about what each one means. So N equals the number of moles. Yeah, C is the concentration. Okay, the strength of it, how the the number of dissolved particles in a certain volume, okay, that's what we mean by concentration, and that's got the units mole per litre, okay, I'll just write that, moles per litre, okay, so concentration, M-O-L, L to the minus one, and that means moles per liter, okay? And then finally, V is for volume, okay? Because we're dealing with solutions, we'll be able to work at the concentration, we'll be able to work at the volume, and what's important is that is in liters, 
Okay. So important that that's in litres. And you'll see when we get on to the next page why that's important. Okay, when we start doing questions on it. Right. Here we go. So the best way to do this is just to do examples. Yeah, example after example after example. So, example one. Calculate number of moles in now we'll do we'll do three of these together just so we get into the habit. Okay, so the first one is going to be a hundred centimeter cubed of sodium hydroxide NaOH, and that's going to have a concentration of zero point one moles per liter. Okay, so we want to calculate the number of moles, so we use our equation N equals C times V. Okay, we've got our wee sidebar here. So N we don't know because that's what the question is asking for us, number of moles. The concentration, remember it's moles per litre. So the concentration is 0 0.1. And this is important. Okay, I'm actually going to make a note to convert centimetre cubed to litres. What we do is we divide by a thousand. Okay, and this is so important because you'll get the answer wrong if you don't divide by a thousand to get it into litres. Yeah, it's going to mess up everything. So what we do, again, you can do this in your head or you can do it in the calculator. So 100 divided by a thousand is 0.1. Okay, so our question, our, if we sub in our numbers into the equation, it's 0.1 times 0.1, and again, use a calculator if you can't do it in your head, but that would give us 0 0.01 moles, yeah? Just, I'll reassure you, there you go. And that's it, okay? How easy is that? Now, B, let's calculate the number of moles, 250 centimeter cubed of potassium hydroxide and let's say we've got a concentration 2.0, okay? So again, we're, we've not been given a mass here, okay? So we can't use N equals M over GFM, but we can use NC times V, okay? So put a wee sidebar in. We don't know the moles. That's what the question is asking for us. The concentration, remember, it's moles per litre, so that's 2. And the volume is 250 centimetre cubed. But we want it in litres. How do we do that? Divide by a thousand. Okay, so 250 divided by a thousand is 0 0.25 litres. Okay, if you can't do that in your head, you use a calculator. Sub in our numbers, so our concentration is 2 times 0 0.25, and that's going to give us 0.5 moles. Nice and easy. Yeah. C. Uh, one, okay, that's one litre of HCl. That's going to have a concentration of 1.5 moles per litre. Okay, so let's do that. Now, we've not been given a mass, so we use our new equation, N equals C times V. We can put a wee sidebar in. We don't know N. C is 1.5, yeah, moles per litre. That's our concentration. Our volume, now be careful. What happens quite often is people just get into the habit of dividing by a thousand. We don't need to divide by a thousand here because it's already in litres, okay? So our volume is one. So our number of moles is 1.5 times one. So it's quite simply 1.5 moles. Yeah, that's it. That is it. Now, it's not always as easy as that. Sometimes, so that should be an I, sometimes 
we need to do a wee bit of rearranging. The question might not ask you for the number of moles, it might ask you for the concentration, it might even ask you for the volume. Okay, so two ways you can do it change side, change sign. Okay, so if n equals c times v, yeah, if we want to get c on its own, yeah, we need to get the v to the other side. Now, if we're timesing the v, if we want to get it to the other side, we need to divide the v. So what happens is c equals n divided by v. Okay, I'll just rearrange that so it looks better. C equals N over V. Yeah? Now, same thing goes. N equals C times V. Let's say we want V. Yeah? What we need to do is we need to get rid of the C. Now, they're times together, so to get it to the other side, we need to change the sign. So the opposite of times is divide. So we divide by C on both sides. And what we're left with is V equals N over C. I'll just write that out so it's easier to see. Yeah? Now, there is a triangle. Yeah, if you, if you can't do the whole change side, change sign, there is a triangle. And the triangle has N on the top and then CV on the bottom. Now, remember, we've already spoke about this. Um, all we need to do is hide whatever one we're trying to work out. So if we're trying to work out N, N equals C times V, yeah, because they're both next to each other on the bottom. If we want to work out C, cover up C, and then C equals N's on the top, and then we divide by V on the bottom. N divided by V, and if we wanted to calculate V, that would be V equals N's on the top, divided by C, which is on the bottom. Okay? Right. So, what we're going to do is we're going to calculate the... So again, this would be question two. So calculate the concentration of... And then we'll go for A, okay, of 2 moles of 300 centimetre cubed of H2SO4, okay. So, can put a wee sidebar in. Number of moles, we've got 2. Concentration is what we're trying to calculate, so we don't know that. And then the volume, remember, has to be in litres. Okay, so we divide that by a thousand, so 300 divided by a thousand is 0 0.3. And we've got an equation, we want to rearrange it for C. Okay, so bring the V down, so it's N over V. Okay, so that becomes 2 divided by 0 0.3. And if we put that in our calculators, 2 divided by 0 0.3 we are getting 6.66, I'll just round up to 7. And remember, the units of concentration, so important, moles per litre. Yeah? Right, B. Let's calculate the concentration of 0.5 moles of 150 centimetre cubed of nitric acid, which you should know, because it's one of your three acids, HNO3. So it's the same as sulfuric acid, you should know these formulas, yeah? Um, so, do a wee sidebar, number of moles, 0.5. Concentration, we don't know, because that's what the question's asking us. And then volume, is 150 centimetre cubed, but we divide by 1,000, and we get 0 0.15 liters okay that's our equation n equals cv i've i've taken the times out 
Yeah, you can just have the number, uh, the letters, sorry, next to each other. It's the same thing, so C times V. And we want C on its own, so we bring the V down to the other side. So that's N over V, so that's 0 0.5 divided by 0, 0.15. And if we pop that into our calculator, so 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.15, we are getting 3.33. And remember, units, moles per litre. Don't forget them. Don't forget them. Right, last thing, and then we can start doing questions on these. So, well, you can start doing questions. So number three, I want you to calculate the volume. Again, we'll just do A and B. So A... Let's go for two moles of phosphoric acid, so that's H3PO4, and that's got a concentration of 1.5 moles per litre. Okay, so we sidebar, N, we've got two moles, yeah, concentration we do have this time, yes, yeah, 1.75. Uh, and volume, we've no idea because that's what the question is asking us to calculate. So our volume is a question mark. Okay, so N equals C times V. We want the V, so we bring the C down to the other side. So that becomes N over C. And that's 2 divided by 1.75. And if we pop that into our calculator, 2 divided by 1.75. Oh. Um, 2 divided by 1.75, that is what, 1.4, sorry, 1.143, okay, make sure you're rounding up correctly, if you were to put 1.142, you would get marked down for that, okay, you need to round up correctly, so that's 1.143, okay, and it's volume, okay, and you should know volume is in litres. Do not mix it up, okay? Right, B. Well, I calculate the volume of 0 0.33 moles of hydrochloric acid, and you should know hydrochloric acid, HCl. And our concentration is... 0.75 moles per litre, okay? So, sidebar, moles, 0.33, concentration, moles per litre, 0.75, and volume, no idea, question mark. N equals C times V, we want the volume, so V, bring down the C, N over C, so that's 0 0.33 divided by 0 0.75, and what are we going to get for answer? 0 0.33 divided by 0 0.75. We're going to get 0 0.44 and litres. Okay. Now, just out of curiosity, if you wanted to convert that into centimetre cubed, you don't have to. And in fact, I'd recommend you don't. But instead, divide by a thousand, you times by a thousand. And that would be 440 centimetre yeah, and that's it. Right, I'm going to give you lots of questions on these for practice, and next lesson we will look at combining the two, combining N equals M over GFM, combining C times V, okay? So make sure you know when to use each one. Yeah, it's so important now. Um, if you're given a mass, instantly we can use M over GFM because we can always work at the GFM because we've always got a data book. Yeah, if you're not given a mass, but you're given a concentration and volume, yeah, you can use this new one, N equals C times V. Okay, right, we'll leave it there. Thank you.